welcome everybody to this event here today thank you very much for coming here i know some of you have traveled from chennai to attend this event as well so it really means a lot to us that you would you would do that so thank you very much for that <coughs> um firstly my pranams to my beloved guru kanyakumari garu who unfortunately could not join us today but without her blessings none of this would have been possible she is my everything um we are very excited to start the tillasthanam foundation um in honor of the great sri tillasthanam ramayangar um sri ramayangar was a direct disciple of the great carnatic music composer sadguru tyagarajar um he hailed from tillasthanam which is a small agraharam just one street with the srinivas permal koil um <clears throat> and it's about half a kilometer from tiruvayar uh, close to tanjavur and uh, the seed for this foundation was sowed by my parents uh, dr chandran and vijay lakshmi who are here today um my father's grandfather tillasthanam srinivas raghavan used to conduct such house concerts at his home in madurai and it was their idea that we can try and maybe revive this uh tradition um through the foundation our hope is to <coughs> try and take this wonderful art form to newer audiences as well my wife and i we have a lot of friends of ours who tell us they are very interested in music but have not necessarily attended a carnatic music concert or even an indian music concert and so we thought having an intimate space where artists could come together in an informal setting and collaborate with each other and share our music as well as our thoughts also some of us can also speak a little bit about what this music is all about and if we do that perhaps more people might be interested in this we also would like to <coughs> bring together people socially through this i was very fortunate to spend 6 years of my life in los angeles and the wonderful community over there where almost every few weeks there used to be a concert like this in somebody's house people coming together people sharing music people sharing food um watching football games as well in the us as the tradition is so i very much enjoyed that and i think it was a very much an important part of my life in los angeles and i thought it might be very nice to have something um, similar here as well today i am thrilled to have three wonderful musicians and uh, mentors and 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 friends join me today um shri bangalore rajasekhar sir performing on the more sing shri omkar rao performing on on the gatam <laughs> and shri k u jayachandra rao performing on the mrudangam <laughs> a few words about the artists themselves um rajasekhar sir he needs no introduction um he is known for his electrifying sounds with astounding versatility a small instrument the amount of variations and tonal quality and rhythm improvisations that he does with them is just phenomenal um born into a family of musicians uh, he learned the art of playing from his father vidwan uh, shri l bhimachar great artist versatile one of the most senior most exponents of this instrument mm. raj shekhar is a top rank morsing <laughs> artist of the all india radio countless many awards i'll read out a few from karnataka sangeetha nritya academy best percussion artist from bangalore gayan samaj laya kalanidhi from bandhup fine arts world morsing virtues award 2022 and most recently uh, an award from the madras music academy for best senior percussionist award my personal connection with raj shekhar sir has been for over 25 years first playing with my guru and then i also remember the first time i played for the legendary saxophone artist kadri gopal nath sir <coughs> i was a small boy um and raj shekhar sir was the one who gave me confidence to play with artists like them and so i'm ever thankful for that he's been so supportive in my entire journey so thank you very much sir for joining us today <laughs> shri omkar rao 
was initiated into the art of percussion by the reputed mridangam performer vidwan v r chandrasekhar um having mastered the basics he continued his advanced lessons under the guidance of mridangam maestro gana kalabhushna vidwan t a s mani um and the learning environment at karnataka college of percussion helped him groom himself as a respected concert accompanist he has continued the path of consistent learning by coming under the guidance of vidushi sukanya ram gopal ji a legendary ghatam performer and he has performed in major festivals and sabha he is an a grade artist at all india radio and doordarshan and has many recognitions to his credit we have shared the stage several times thank you very much for joining us today omkar <laughs> ku jayachandra rao or jay anna as i know him um is a very well known carnatic classical musician percussionist playing the mridangam he performs extensively with all the leading musicians in india and has performed at almost all the prestigious musical festivals across india his energy just astounds me the amount of playing he does that's just a dedication to uh, the art and the instrument he is known for his unique style of playing mridangam that blends aesthetics and precision in a manner that seamlessly complements and exemplifies the music of the vocal or instrumental artist playing for vocal and playing for instrument are two very different things i think and he is able to do both of those so seamlessly it just it amazes me how he is able to um do that his jugal bandi performances are are very well known and he has collaborated with so many renowned musicians dylan fowler peter stacy um and he's performed in international festivals ramlingan musical festival poland drum festival he's a highly sought after guru here teaches numerous students he has his own not profit not for profit organization that is dedicated to the propagation of music through workshops lecture demonstrations and so on jayana i've had the privilege of sharing stage with you on several several occasions especially after i moved to bangalore it's a great pleasure for me for you to join join us today thank you very much our plan is to maybe play for 1 hour 45 minutes or or 2 hours or 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 so we hope you'll enjoy the the concert we will also maybe i might intersperse it a little bit with a little bit about the music here and there and then maybe towards the end uh, i'll ask uh, raj shekhar sir omkar rao and uh, jayana to also share a few thoughts on uh, on mridangam playing and percussion playing we will welcome questions also at that point of time people are interested in learning and understanding a little bit more about this music i know there are a lot of students from iisc and microsoft a lot of my wife students are here as well who have background in mathematics and there's a lot of mathematics going on in in carnatic music as well so we'd love to share all of that with you as well so once again i hope you enjoy the fun
That was Ganapate in the Ragam Kalyani, which is a very popular ragam both in South Indian classical as well as uh, Hindustani classical music as well, known as Yaman over there. Uh, composition of uh, Sri Muthuswami Dikshidhar um, in Rupagatalam. <coughs> Next, I'll play um, a composition of Purundara Dasar um, in Ragam Nate, Jaya 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 Janaki. Oh, <laughs> 
the next composition that we'd like to present is in the ragam thodi which is very typical i would say to carnatic music similar scales are found in other forms of music but the gamakas or the ornamentation that we find in south indian classical music is very different so a uh, set of notes define a ragam and we improvise in that compositions are written in that but most often just a set of notes don't define a ragam it's how we connect those notes the ornamentation behind those notes and thodi is very very unique in that aspect i feel that the gamakas are just immense and the possibilities are endless we'd like to present a beautiful composition of shama shastri which in my opinion i think all aspects of thodi have been beautifully explored in that composition rave himagiri in the talam aadi talam which is an 8 beat cycle
that was Sujana Jeevana and Ragam Kamas. Again, a Ragam popular in both styles of Indian classical music. Composition of Sadhguru Tyagarajar in Rupa Talam. This was perhaps one of the first compositions I learned from my sister, who's a uh, Veena artist herself. So. One of the rare compositions of Sadhguru Tyagarajar, Yedari Sanchuritantara, um, in the Ragam Shruti Ranjani. Um, we will now perform the main composition of the day um, in the Ragam Kiravani, again popular in both styles of Indian classical music. Uh, Kaligi Yunte, another masterpiece of Sadhguru Tyagarajar in Adi Talam, an eight beat cycle. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you very much. Um, we will conclude the concert with uh, Tillana composed by my dear Guru Kanyakumari Garu in Ragam Sahana.
ಸಭೆಗೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಜಯಚಂದ್ರರಾವ್ ಸರ್ ರಾಜಶೇಖರ್ ಸರ್ ಓಂಕಾರ್ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಗೆ ಬಂದು ತಿಲ್ಲೆಸ್ತಾನ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಇನಾಗ್ರಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡಿದರು ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ ವಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಜಯಚಂದ್ರ ಸರ್ ರಾಜಶೇಖರ್ ಸರ್ ನೋಮ್ಕಾನ್ ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಇನಾಗ್ರಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತಿಲ್ಲೆಸ್ತಾನ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ um we are very grateful to each one of you for being here with us on this special day um but one person whom i would like to introduce you to is someone who's a renowned uh, mridangist himself and is like a big brother to nishant ashwin sridharana <laughs> request you to please say a few words namaskaram to all of you it is a beautiful concert and uh, it was a, it, it, in fact i would say there is a famous temple in telaisthanam uh, shiva temple St- actually telaisthanam is one of the seven saptasthanams seven temples of shiva in and around kaveri river very close to tiruvayar in that the main presiding deity is nellayappar nellai and uh, nei adippar they call it it is that means gi and the thayar name ambal name is uh, palambika slightly tweak it you can call it as palambika or milk so today's concert was an abhishegam to the great composers in both ghee and milk by nishant and the entire team so he had the support of three great stalwarts who have been coming to Ch- chennai music festival every time and embellishing so many with ones the most sought after vidwans especially when it comes to instrumental music it's very difficult to play for instruments so people like shrimati jayanti kumaresh ganesh kumaresh or uh, shashank they all prefer this this team actually especially jay jay chandran sir arna jay chandran sir arna because they are able to understand the absolute value of the music and and uh, the art of following the art of accompanying is something unique when it comes to uh, especially accompanying the instruments when compared to vocal music it's very easy to accompany vocal music rather than instrumental music and of course he comes from a great parampara of uh, sri palgat maniher his guru sri palgat rajamani a great uh, the son of uh, legendary vidwan palgat maniher and similarly uh, rajshekar sir who has been accompanying kadri sir for several decades is uh, uh, it's in fact it's a, it's a great combination omkar rao sir so thank you very much on behalf of the telai stanam school before i hand the mic back to uh, the musicians um art comes in many different forms and we are grateful to many artists who've contributed to this event thank you to the wonderful tech team for the beautiful sound that we heard today and the audio that we will see um many thanks to my good friend varsha ers for all the beautiful design uh, elements she's con- contributed to the foundation yeah please we felt like the foundation came to life when varsha designed the logo for the foundation and she's also designed these beautiful uttariyams <laughs> um the beautiful paintings that you see on the wall made by my good friend prabha narayan in fact uh, the nandi that you see here uh, actually when i uh, wanted to make paintings for this occasion i discussed it with my brother in law um 
I'll just come here. Um, Patri Satish Kumar Garu, who's my cousin's husband. And I ran through all the ideas with him. And uh, he, in fact, gave me inputs for the Mridangam painting. And in fact, the Nandi that you see here is actually based on a murti that's in his house. Uh, so my thanks to him as well. Um, I'll now hand the mic back. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for, for, for everyone for coming here. It's, a, it's been a great honor and privilege to play in front of you and, and share music with you. <clears throat> As I said at the beginning, we would love to um, talk about music as well. Music is something that's very dear to all of us. And I know a lot of, we have a lot of students and professors from Indian Institute of Science as well who have joined us today. And we thought they might also enjoy some of the um, aspects of music that we will talk about. A lot of it is also so mathematical. So just a few words about the music itself. For those of you who are um, not too familiar with Carnatic music, we <coughs> most of Indian music is extempore. We, there is a, it's, it's imp improvisation, there is a, um, a scale, uh, which is a collection of notes and the gamakas or the ornamentation that goes along with it. And based on that, most of what we play is um, extempo. So we, we think of how all we can improvise within the, the boundaries of that scale. So it's like, like there's a grammar for the, for, the, for, the, for the raga, and then we have to, like composing poetry in that, in that raga. And we are all familiar with, with, with the grammar, and that's what allows us as musicians to come together without necessarily rehearsing beforehand. We just come here. And it's like we are having a conversation. So, and that conversation can happen through m many ways. Like we can play something, we can feed off what eye contact, we can try and, I mean, these artists are just amazing. They, they will, they so closely watch what everybody else is doing. And when you watch, even before they play, they know what they are going to do, right? And that's just the incredible, uh, skill of, of, of these artists that, they've, that they're able to perform that way and uh, everything sounds beautiful because of that. So thanks once again to, to all of you. Um, I'd like to actually maybe, we have three wonderful percussionists here. Um, but I, I, I'll start and if people have questions, they should feel free to, to ask. Um, but I just want maybe three of you to say a few words about how does improvisation in Laya take place? So we all know there is, there are various types of cycles, 16 beat cycles, six beat cycles, 14 and so on and so forth. And so within those boundaries, we try to fit in patterns, right? patterns of three, patterns of five, anything that sounds nice, any pattern that sounds nice, we are searching for these patterns that can fit within these. But Jayana, maybe I'll start with you. So sh why don't you share some thoughts about how is it when you, when you try to improvise and play some patterns, how do you do, do, do this actually? Uh, it's uh, when, we, when we think about Carnatic percussion, I'm, I'm specifically saying it's a percussion with uh, accordance with the Carnatic music, one of the most amazing part, one of the most uh, uh, challenging part is the mathematics involved with the uh, percussions. I think it is one of the most advanced uh, 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 advanced uh, uh, what do you call. Uh, philosophy of mathematics involved with the Carnatic music and uh, after certain training we have, we have been introduced to this uh, system where we have to create the maths sometimes on spot so within the boundaries of the talam within the boundaries of the laya according to the melody what he has played and it all involves a lot of a lot of thinking and uh, some uh, sometimes we come across the some of the artists who does not even uh, uh, say what thala pallavi they are going to sing and how they are going to do that 
and uh, they just uh, say, I will sing a Pallavi and you play in that. Uh, Pallavi is a very, uh, like what you call a improvised part, a one line or two line uh, portion, and we'll keep on developing that mathematically as well as melodically. So we come across a lot of challenges, So, but there is a beautiful system, so how it takes us, so our guru teaches, um, basically there are five elements, like Panjavuta, what we call as Tishra, Chaturushra, Khanda, Mishra and Sankirana. And we do a lot of uh, combination of these and create the pattern according to the situation, according to the melody, that is most important. Whatever you create, it should suit according to the melody. And that's how, we, by practicing, by doing um, lots of... Uh, 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 Jayana, can you demonstrate a little bit on Nades? So, Nades is a very beautiful concept. You take beats and keep the time the same. Yeah. But split it up, split the time up into threes or four or five. Time remains the same. It's a beautiful concept that the time keeps going like this. And the time does not change at all, but you just split time. Exactly. If I have an eight beat cycle, you end up with 32 matras, or you end up with 48 matras, or 40 matras, just, and then the math completely changes. Then you exactly. have to improvise within this math. Can you show maybe a little bit of how? Maybe, yeah, yeah. We will just, uh, we will just show you how it works, how does it uh, uh, work actually. And if I play a kind of straight pattern with the three per beat, it sounds like this. keeping the same Tempo. three but I am doing it in a different way giving different color you can say We can do five, seven, nine, and four in the same way. So if five means so for uh, beat it would be five letters. Five. Taka 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 so this is 5 per beat. If you have to increase the speed like how we did for 3 to 6. 2 times 3 is 6. So you can do 5 as 10. Double the 5. Taka takita taka takita taka takita taka takita keta the kataki keta the keta the kataki keta the keta the kataki keta the kataki keta the 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 tempo has remained the same while the distribution of the aksharas it changed from 5 to 10. 5 is Kandanade, what we call as Kandanade. He demonstrated 3, which is Trishanade. 5 is Kandanade. So 5 and 10. So there is, you know, umpteen number of permutations, combinations that you can do. What we have just shown is probably the, the simplest one. While we are playing, while we are playing, 
I think it's more um, easier to express it on the instrument than vocalizing it because you know the 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 tongue has to be so sharp you know for you to this thing right <laughs> to make it you know faster <laughs> So I'm making four into eight. Eight you can make it as sixteen as well, right? But yeah, your your tongue has to be more cleaner and sharper. <laughs> Speaking of cleaner and sharper and saying it saying it faster, Raj Chakra sir is doing exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> sir, it's a wonderful instrument, and you just I think I think the way Indian percussion has taken such an instrument and created such wonderful sounds out of it is just unimaginable. I don't know how... It's just the thought process of <laughs> mankind that we were able to make a percussion instrument out of something like this. Just, it blows my mind, right? So, one thing I, I love to ask... So, in, in, in the Carnatic concert platform, we, we normally have... We, ha we also have people who, who sing and then there's a, there's a violinist. We have Mridangam, we have Gatam and more sing. And as I was saying, there's a, it's a conversation. So typically, in conversation, someone asks questions and the, someone responds, right? And it happens that way as well. If you notice that the Tanya Avartaram, when they were playing, Jayana would play something, Umkar Rauji will and Raj Shekhar will, will respond in some particular way. One thing I, I love to ask artists, because I myself play a, a lot of violin, and therefore I'm a lot of the times in the, in, in the seat where I have to respond to answers. Right? How does one practice for something like that. It's a very, very... Because you cannot. It's something that someone asks you a question, you don't know what question they may ask. Sir, why don't you... Why can't you share some, some thoughts on how does one actually... What is the practice routine for something like this? Because it's very unique to our form of music, Indian form of music, where it is on the spot, we are responding to what somebody says. <coughs> Om Shri Guru Bhyanma. What my friend Nishant asking, my personal opinion is, practice is a different thing and the experience is different. The practice you do, it is just like a fixed deposit. And what you get on the stage is the interest. <laughs> So, how much you invest, that is how much you practice, a some percentage of that will come on the stage, like interest. That is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very nicely put, sir. <laughs> um, I'd love the session to be interactive. I mean, I know we have lunch as well, so I'd love all of you to join us for lunch. Anybody have any, any questions to any of us on music, on how this music works, how we produce this music. Yes. Can someone pass the mic? So you talked about this um, Kanda Nadai, uh, Sankirna Nadai, whatever. So, but there are certain songs that seem to be set to a particular Nadai. Yeah. What determines that? The physical factor. For example, if you take Chinnan Chirkuriya, it is actually in Tishamare. Chinnan Chirkuriya, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it goes like that. The basic pattern itself, we come to know that it is in Tishamare. I see. So, and it's also very, very beautiful if you try to force fit to some other, even though it might be the same eight beat cycle. For example, there's this Yadupu, which is uh, the, the, the same Met, right? So, we have a lot of these songs, one of, one of which I played also today, like, with this edipu, like... Manavyalakin charradake manavyalakin Right? So that song actually starts one and a half beats after the starting, even though it's an eight beat cycle. It's not starting on the beat, starting three after, right? One or one and a half, right? If I try to sing it with, with beat, it will sound totally off. It's just going totally off, right? And that is the beauty that there is a meta to the song. 
and we have when it automatically comes like we know exactly how it should be how the beat should be and that rhythm will aut- automatically come even for you when we listen to it automatically you'll feel like yeah. beating at some particular place and that will tell you okay this is the this is the metaphor for that for that right sorry since i have the mic i'll just cheat and ask one more question Most the uh, uh, the song before jagado dharana uh, i wasn't able to determine sara maina mata in behag behag ஜவலி <laughs> Right, so yeah. it was requested by the main artist <laughs> just i don't know how many how many of you observed it so he jay jay anna requested him to play it and i in turn requested him to accompany for the tar <laughs> so it jelled so well that it was it was this a split of a second it was this no uh, no uh, there is a previous conversation or you didn't have an agreement before the concert so th- this is the specialty of uh, classical music Correct. and the taniyavardhanam today what you played was the extension of the song taniyavardhanam as the the great gurus the great masters they say it should be an extension of the main piece exactly. the mood created by the main artist the same laya pattern he has to keep on showing that pattern and the bagga matto kale nindit so that pattern he showed and lot of all the arithmetical patterns where he played nishan played on the violin he kept on showing that place that edup we call it as edup so and the, so the same thing was continued by jayanna and uh, it was a great combination and it came out so well so this is the specialty of uh, extempore music <laughs> Yes. Morsing. Can we pass the mic to one? Very primitive question. Uh, the Morsing is extremely exciting. I see three separate instruments there. Or is it the design? Yes. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Um, the instrument itself. The instrument. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, the mo- do you use more than one during a concert or just the one alone? is there any difference like flute players uh, have one or two different ones and they keep changing no no just this one <laughs> just one uh, but it's all of the same pitch oh i so see so i keep more than 3 because while playing the tongue may cut ah uh, uh. okay tongue of the instrument ah uh, oh that may break <laughs> <laughs> i was worried i was worried <laughs> thank you <laughs> nothing yeah. like that <laughs> i never experienced again it depends on the skill of the player <laughs> maybe <laughs> yes sir slightly mundane question and to the more singer let's uh, show so thanks for a wonderful performance all of you to all the artists let's say what is fascinating again draws us to more singer in the rudangam or the katam or the khanjira typically we see that the hand movement correlates to the production of the sound okay uh, sound and the hand movement correlate but in the case of morching it doesn't seem to correlate so how exactly is the sound produced in a morching how are those variations coming they don't seem to correlate yet we call it a thala vadya apart from morching the other percussion instruments where you have to beat and produce the sound here it is not like that it is just like a way of we are talking the tongue how we use our tongue to express our uh, while speaking we will express through our tongue so i am expressing the instrumental music through the tongue that is the difference could you kindly just show it sir if you don't mind <laughs> So the 
yeah. here i am not using the tank i am using my tank not the instrumental tank while in the case of murdanga mar gatta mar mo kanjira for the very bit you have to use your fingers mm-hmm. thank you very much for the very bits i am not using the plucking so the konna call that umkar ji was was saying it that is what he is also saying when he <coughs> says all this and uh, through the mouth singing yeah i invite everyone to join us for for lunch it's over there again thank you very much for once again thank you all for coming i forgot to thank one person then i spoke about art in many forms thanks to hema ka who's always invisible but she creates magic with her camera um anyway Also thanks for the wonderful wonderful sound. Yeah, sound wonderful. Yeah.